What's going on? Tectonic Edge here, playing some more Mono Green Tron. Uh, on the draw again, third time in a row. But we'll see what we get. And should be coming up here in just a minute. Any second now. Okay, well, it looks like we got a second, so. Ban announcement came out recently. Um, I'm not sure when I'm up be uploading this video, because uh, I tend to store these, but yeah, so no bans in modern. Uh, Ren and Six, Band and Legacy, uh, a, couple, a couple of other bands, a lot of standard bands. I think there was three cards. Um, so yeah, it shows you how that format had kind of uh, gotten stale if they're banning three at once. I was along the line of thinking that they were going to ban something out of Urza. I was hoping it wasn't going to be Mox Opal. Uh, kind of hoping it was going to be Urza, but you know, it's not the worst deck to play against. It's not the, the well. It's not okay. Tron has a okay matchup against it, but it's not the worst deck to have in the meta because there are counters to it. I mulligan that new land hand, but I keep natural Tron. That always feels good. Keep that pitch the chromatic sphere. See what we're up against. Bloodstained Mire. All right, if I had to hazard a guess based on one, one card, we're going to be up against Death Shadow. In which case, that's not going to be a bad card. Turn three. We can get something. But, yeah, we do have to be a little careful of them. It's a winnable matchup. But getting a tap land is interesting, or or rather, getting a shock land entering tapped. Huh. What kind of hand did this guy keep? Well, we cycle. Eh, yeah, we've got enough cards in hand. I think we cycle two of these. And we'll go ahead and throw out the expedition map. Make him think we don't have it. He probably assumes we have it, but if I were him, I would assume we had it. But we also have a handful of threats, so we don't really care. Okay, going straight to the sideboard, huh? If this is Death Shadow, that is the weirdest game of Death Shadow I've ever had. I'm wondering if he's something else. But we'll take that in. Um, in the Veil of Summers. I wonder about the nature's claims. I'm going to leave them out for now. We want to pull out here. Emrakul's a little on the big side. I like all my creatures though. Oh, so uh, I guess I'll go down one thought knot, or time, um, not thought knot. Eh, no, actually, back to or thought knot. Yeah, I'll go down a thought knot. At the very least, these can, uh, Counter some hand destruction turn two. This does not have Tron in it, but I'm tempted to keep partially because of the dig, partially because I think he's going to try and destroy my hand. 
Um, and you don't want to go too low on uh, matchups where they run a lot of hand destruction. So he'll probably take um, either, if he runs, plays Thought Seize this turn, he's taking the Ulamog. Inquisition, though, is a little trickier. Probably the Walking Ballista. This is a very Inquisition proof hand. Yep. And do we just draw the tower? Oh, no. All right. Play the Chromatic Star in case he has Artifact Destruction. Well, we're going to get a lot of extra draws here in the next coming turn. Raging Ravine. All right. Not what I thought he was. Take a chromatic something, probably the star. I don't know, he took a sphere. You hear that in the background? That is my cat getting on my suitcase, so I'm going to go chase him off real quick. Mochi, don't rip that up. He's angry I'm playing a video game and not paying attention to him. That was probably a mistake, but yeah. Oh, do I crack for green here? I've already played my land. Now I'll just go play go ahead and play the other one. So is this Jun then? This is looking a little like Jund. Renin six? Oh, Tarmogoyf. All right. Well, you do get my Ulamog here. Congratulations on that. Oh, we'll take the Karn. We can't play Karn next turn, can we? Yeah. That's a bit of a fail. Oh, Worm Coil Engine. All right, yeah, that was a bit of a fail on my part. I could have had Tron that turn, or, or at least Tron for next turn. Good Tron, not the, yeah, this is going to be a little crappy Tron. If I draw the Thrag Tusk, I'd be in a decent spot. Not in the worst spot, though. He's pretty low on, yep, there's a run in six. Uh, there's a tower. There's an oblivion stone. Have fun with that. Well, he's going to get a land back for, for first time, you know. Uh, 
Well, that's a little unfortunate. Yep, taking a good bit of damage there. Oh, I could wait till his attack, but he's going to just plus this first. So, yeah, I think we crack for green to... See if we happen to draw land. We do not, but that'll be good for next turn. There we go. Uh, Raging Ravine's going to hurt a little bit. Uh, he can't, still can't activate. Eh, there, there we go, yep. Oh, and a blood braid. All right, endure and insects, of course. Yep. I need to land this turn. Come on, land. That'll do. We'll go for the instant life gain. All right, that was a pretty good top deck. Blue. All right, yeah, no, that's what throws me. And he's just going to scoop up to that. All right. Oh, that was a close one, though. Top deck won us that, but uh, just barely. Um, four color, it, it plays like Jund, but that watery grave, I wonder why he's splashing blue for that. Is it just um, deception, or is it just, is there an actual blue spell he's running in the deck? I mean, that's green, black, blue, red. That's a four color deck. All right, well, thank you for watching. Uh, Tectonic Edge, or please feel free to leave any likes, comments. Uh, I'd be happy to hear from you guys or just general thoughts. Tectonic Edge, signing out.